Most of the world's poorest people live well away from the media spotlight, in places like Bilinguinho on the Zambezi Delta in Mozambique. This country is at the bottom of the Human Development Index, and it's no exaggeration to say that people like Maria Luis and their family live on the very edge of existence. A torturous five-hour journey by foot and dugout canoe will bring them to the nearest town. Access to proper health and education services is a world away. To compound their problems, the fragile homestead is regularly submerged in floodwaters. Concern is here, and our aim is to help farmers like Maria Luis become more effective in how they farm and more resilient to climate shock. We are helping promote alternative crops like sesame that are easy to grow and attractive to international buyers, generating much needed income for poor families. The international community has so far failed to bring peace between the warring factions in South Sudan, and it is the ordinary people of that impoverished country who continue to suffer the consequences. Nearly 50,000 people are trapped inside a UN base in Bentu, and they live in appalling conditions. The site floods in heavy rain, and the water that inundates the flimsy shelters is polluted with human sewage. Women who leave the base in search of firewood for cooking are subject to rape and sexual assault. Men who leave are in danger of being shot. The concern team in Bentu is providing clean water, helping the most vulnerable families with food and shelter, and treating hundreds of children suffering from malnutrition. A lot has happened in the year since Typhoon Haiyan ripped through the Philippines, leaving death and destruction in its wake. After the initial response, Concern, together with local communities, got to work repairing infrastructure and helping to rebuild livelihoods. Many fishing families lost their boats to the storm surge of November 8th. The Concern Boatyard in Conception has been busy. Nearly a thousand new boats have been built and another 400 repaired. And we have been working under the water to restore reefs and mangroves, which provide protection for fish stocks. This year, the team also helped to build temporary shelters, which allowed hundreds of children to go back to class while school buildings were being repaired and strengthened for small island communities. On the other side of the world in West Africa, the Ebola outbreak continues to cause misery and disrupt the economic and social fabric of countries like Sierra Leone. Concern has worked here for nearly 20 years and is playing a vital part in breaking the chain of transmission for this deadly virus. One of our priorities has been to train staff who work in health centers to identify and safely isolate Ebola cases in a way that protects themselves and other patients. Up to 70% of transmissions are believed to be caused by exposure to the body of somebody who has died of Ebola. Since Concern took over the management of burials in the Freetown area, Everyone who dies is buried in a safe and dignified way within 24 hours. It's a difficult task for the burial teams, but an essential one in the fight against Ebola. I do the job because I'm a citizen, because this problem has come to us. So we all put our hands together to fight against this disease.